Oh, oh, okay. 15 seconds and we get this uh, this uh, this quest started. Let's go. Oh, it was over here. You have to start it. Where is the uh, where is the notice board? It's supposed to be somewhere here. Uh, so, oh, it's over here on the on the wall. Okay, I guess I just check it and uh, read some stuff and I can start the quest. Perfect. Gotta speak to Sarah at the farm south of Falador. So now I have to go to the area I was uh, originally at. Let's talk to Sarah and then I guess talk about the bounty and then I just keep talking about that and uh, uh, What did the monsters look like? Any tips of finding these things? Whereabouts were you attacked? You mentioned Rosie, who's that? Okay, I'll just uh, I guess I'll just go through all of these options and uh, then we can see what we have to do next I spoke to Sarah at the farm. She explained that she was attacked by a charging monster at the crossroads north of Draenor I should investigate Alright, well we all know where that is. Oh, this is new. So it seems as though the monster was trying to run off with some of Sarah's produce. From it looks of things, it was heading northeast. So I guess I just have to uh, keep running northeast and follow these. Do I have to investigate? The cabbage is damaged and has begun going yellow or turning yellow. So I guess I just have to uh, follow all these and uh, we should reach the monster. I, I see a dot here. Oh, it's not the uh, monster. Okay. Here is a dungeon, it is new. Let's go down and see what happens. Hopefully I don't need to bring a rope for this. Oh no, I need a rope! Coming in hot with uh, two ropes, I actually brought one extra in case uh, I need to go down here again and it would disappear for some reason. Also bought, brought a lantern in case you do need that down here. So let's see if this is actually where the monsters reside. Let's go down, uh, climb over this. Uh, I wonder if you actually do need agility level for that, but I would assume you don't. I don't think there's any requirements for this quest. So, uh, oh, I see red dot. Bronze scimitar. Oh, is this uh, an upgrade? An upgraded weapon that I can pick up. This is what I get for exploring uncharted caves. Looks like I'm trapped down here, my entry rope slipped off, and now there is nowhere to go but deeper. I think I'd be safe just waiting and praying for rescue. If anyone finds this, get out while you can. Well, he was not safe waiting. No one cared about him for a lot of... Oh, here we go. Pig thing. I'm gonna have to pick up that bronze uh, scimitar and kill him with it, because my whip is not going to be enough. Wait, he just KO'd me. I got owned by a level 37. Oh my god, what is this? What is going to happen? Uh, okay, my neck is not doing too great right there. I think I think he just one-shot my neck. Oh no, please, what are you going to do to me? No, please, don't do it to me. Snort. He's just chilling, look at that ass. Dude. Look at that. Look at this. This, this is actually really cool though, cinematics in early questing, because this is a low-level quest. Sp Spria. That is a hard name to pronounce, Spria. I thought it was Spira first, and I thought it was a Final Fantasy reference, but yeah. What? Okay, in theory, that guy that was dead there for like a billion years, no one cared to, to find him ever, and we go down here, and a girl finds us instantly. That is interesting. That is very, very unlucky for that guy. He is truly unlucky. Okay, teleported out. I guess I talked to her. Let's see if there's any options. Is this a new Slayer Master, maybe? Spria. It's, it actually seems a bit like it. And I get re reinforced goggles. Okay, I guess I go through all these options. So indeed, it was a new Slayer Master, but the big reward for this quest that uh, was not talked about in the developer blog is these goggles. It is fashionscape at the highest tier. They look so good. I mean, it's just for killing the new Slayer creatures, but I mean, if you're just chilling around and you want to have some nice fashionscape, those are definitely a good choice. So let's uh, go here, climb over, and let's kill the Sour Hog. Should be very easy. Unfortunately, I didn't get to pick up that bronze scimitar, but uh, yeah, this should probably be pretty easy. With the goggles, you're immune to it. Hopefully he actually dies. I don't need to do anything special for it, right? Yeah, there you go. So he's dead. And uh, do I have to cut foot? I have to take his foot. Not the head this time. RuneScape uh, changing it up a bit in these quests. Wait, did I actually get it? Or did I not? You tried to pull off a foot with your bare hands, but to no avail. Oh, I have to go get a knife or something, I guess. 
Yep, all I needed was a knife for that, so let's just go back to Sarah now, according to the quest, I think, at the farm. And uh, maybe that is going to be the end of the quest. Okay, that was not the end of the quest, but I did get a bounty of 5,000 GP, which for a beginner is decent, I would say. Not amazing, but it's pretty okay. Now I just have to go to the new Slayer Master. Uh, I will never I remember her name. Sp Sprira? 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 Something like that. Let's talk to Spraya and see if this is going to be the end of the quest. At least it's a cinematic, I guess. Oh, well, there's no cinematic. Okay, that is the end of the quest. 30 Slayer Points reward. It's actually very good, especially for a beginner. And then you can reinforce your goggles built into your existing Slayer Helm. Interesting. Can I just use them on a Slayer Helmet? I'm going to go and try that now. Let's see if we can do this. Just use them on the helmet. That does not work. So uh, I'm not really sure how you would do that. But uh, you're supposed to be able to do that, I guess. Maybe it's just because it's I, because I made it into a Hydro Slayer helmet. Maybe that's why it doesn't work. But uh, I will have to look into that, I guess. Now, with the quest done, of course, I'm going to try out the new Slayer creatures. They are for, I do believe, one Slayer. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. But I did go into the journal here, the uh, Slayer guide, and I could not see them anywhere. So they should be for one Slayer. And they are pretty hefty in HP. I do think they have like 40 to 45 HP, something like that. Which will give 40 to 45 Slayer experience every single kill, which is very good for low level. And uh, I'm pretty sure the loot from these guys are not going to be great. But I'll kill a couple of them and show off the loot. Probably one of the more valuable drops, Adam and Scimitar. Now keep in mind that Adam and Scimitar is obviously not a great drop. But keep in mind, if you're a low level like an Iron Man or something, an Adamant Scimitar on this leveled creature is like maybe one of the perfect drops you can get. So it is probably a pretty good item to get from these creatures. So I think above 100 kills is a decent look at what they're actually dropping. And if you're wondering, yeah, I did actually get a single drop of 45 death runes, which is 8k. And for a new account, that is pretty good, but I only got one of those in 100 drops. So I guess a 45 death rune drop is fairly rare. They do also drop easy clue scrolls, and they do drop also adamant kite shields. So I guess maybe there can be more adamant items they drop, but from at least 105 kills, now are still going up, I guess. There's been two scimitars and one kite shield, so if you want to farm these out just for those two specific items, it's probably not going to take you that long to get them. And for in general drops, I mean, they're not that valuable. The biggest thing is just the bones, which means that the average drop is not worth that much. And so you're probably not going to make a bunch of money from these, even as a beginner, but there are some decent drops. I thought this quest was a great addition to the game, there's really no downsides to it. The quest was pretty fun, with some cinematics, and the monsters are fairly interesting, and I think that's perfect for beginners. Now, if you want to see more of my content, you can click any of the videos on the screen right now of my bossing-centered series, which is the main series running on this channel. You can also subscribe to be notified whenever I post new content. But until next time, this is the end of this video.